Hi and welcome to this print kiosk video tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at setting up a template within Photoshop. Um, let's get cracking straight away on it. First thing we need to do is open up the Adobe Photoshop package. You'll be faced with this screen. Come up, File, New. Give your project a title, whatever you want to call it, and come down and select millimeters from the size selection panel. Okay, we're going to do an A5 flyer today, could be any size, but we're just going to go with an A5, so that's 148 by 210 but we need to consider the printer, they need 3mm of bleed on each edge, that's the industry standard, so our actual size we put in will be 154 by 216, DPI needs to be, or PPI needs to be 300, and um, we're going to go with CMYK. Okay, there you go. There's your document ready to start designing upon. What we need to do first of all though is put a few guidelines in. So I'm just going to control plus, hold down the control key and press plus on your keyboard to make it slightly bigger. I'm going to come over to this ruler. Now if you don't see these rulers on yours, don't panic. Just come up to the view and click rulers. That'll bring them up. Go over, left click with the mouse, hold it down and drag out a guide. Set that one three mils from the edge. Do the same this edge, now you'll be able to spend more time than I can on this, getting it right. So just so you can see what we're doing, 3 mils from each edge, everything outside of this border will be trimmed away by the printer, that is the bleed there, everything within inside of that is your actual job. But what we need to do before we go ahead and start designing is bring out a second guide, again another 3 millimeters from that guideline there, so set 3 mils, then another 3 mils. You don't have to add this onto the print size, this is purely what we call a safety line. So basically, image background images should cover the whole sheet right out to the edges, but text should not go over the safety line. The reason for this is, once we guillotine back to this line, Aesthetically, if you have your text right up to this line, it's going to look a little strange when we guillotine back. So it's nice to have a little bit of border there. So we set that safety line as a guide to where we can and can't go. Okay, that's it. Save that template there. You can use that one over and over and over again if you save it as a PSD file. Uh, but that's basically it. What I have got here is I've got one already made up. Here. So for you to look at, and this there shows you exactly what I mean. Image, background image, right out to the edges, past the cut line and the safety line, but the text on all cases stays within the safety line, so that you have a nice border all the way around the outside. Whoops, just move that one back. If you need to move things, just use the arrow keys for smaller mates. Okay, there you go. Now these bullet holes can quite happily move over the cut lines etc, in fact that looks quite good when you trim back through a bullet hole it gives it another dimension but the text must stay within that safety line to make it look good. Okay, I hope you found this informative. Um, if you'd like to come on over to print kiosk, www.printkiosk.co.uk we have some more videos on there. Um, they may help you with some other questions you may have. And if you'd like to place a print order, we'd be delighted to see you over there with a fully automated system. So come on over and have a look around. Thank you very much for taking the time to have a look at this video. And we look forward to speaking to you shortly.